It's a drop night show. We have our guests in the building. We have Zay Forte in the building. Zay Trenton Zone. Forte. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> so we finally got you in the building. I'm here. I appreciate y'all for having me. No Big problem, baller man. Big Forte. That's what we gonna call him. <laughs> yeah, he Trenton style. <laughs> he talking about yo. I'm outside. I'm outside. I'm outside. So what you win? He said the white Maserati. <laughs> I Damn. said, okay, that's what Trent did. Did it on him. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> do it for you. I gotta to do it for show. Tim. Thank you for having me for real. So, um, all right, we know you got a project coming out. Your first song off of the project is uh, Millionaire. Millionaire. Is that what yep. you're What's the name of the project? It's called um, Found My Gift. Okay. So, where did you come up with that title? Um, I used to play sports heavy. Okay. So, like every sport, I was all the way in it. Did you and go then, professional? Like, no, I, I went D one basketball. Okay. Do you know what I D1 went to Bethune Cookman University? Oh wow! Yeah, and, wow. and they told the Beach. Yeah. HBCU. Facts. So okay. when I was playing, like I wasn't the one that got big and you know in the yeah, gym yeah, and yeah. all that, and it, I started getting shin splints. I was like, <laughs> yeah, because I really thought I was really going to the league. You feel me? <laughs> so after that, it was like, I, this this kept going okay. with music. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel like I found my gift because I ain't. I never go back. God would have took it from me a long Ooh. time ago if it Factual. wasn't supposed to be doing this. So, Yo, it's funny that you said that because we interviewed Jungle yesterday. Okay. My guy. And <laughs> he said in our interview, he's like, no, after our interview, he said something about God. And I said, it's funny oh, because wow. you have a lot of people in this industry, they will only acknowledge him when they win an award. Okay. They won't say his name inside of a conversation. That's big up to you, bro. That's real. That is real. So congratulations. How long did it take for you to do the project? Um, I'm like kind of real quick with it. I um, I really knocked it out in like a month. Wow. Wow. I I kind of I I get in this lab and record myself. Okay. So So you're your own engineer. Yeah, sometimes I have people doing this according okay. to what type of sound I need. Uh-huh. But other than that, I'm running back and forth in the booth and out. <laughs> okay. So you produce? Nah, I can, but okay. I, I don't have the energy for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> you do it all the back and forth? I could do it. How you would think just add that but little like engine, You mean engineering? Yeah, I could. I can engineer. Okay. Dope. Okay, uh-huh. that's awesome. So how many songs is on this project? Um, and what's the name of it? 14. 14. It's called um, Found My Gift. That's right. Found There's 14 records on there. I got dope features on there. It's going to be pretty crazy. Who's some of the features on there? Um, I got Sammy. You remember Sammy? Yes. Yeah, the singer. I, I interviewed when I first moved to Atlanta. I interviewed Sammy. Yes. Did What's you? up? Yeah. What yeah, that's my, that's my guy. Shout out to him. That, he was heavy that song at that is point. called Say Something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I definitely so, heard it. How did that come out? Um, Just being around him. I do a lot of writing for R&B people. Oh, dude. So, yeah, we just around, so I kind of put it together. I'm like, yeah, let's get this record. So I had a crazy TLC sample thing that was dope, and it was like, he was like, this is the, this is crazy. Let's get this for the summer, so that we did that. That's not just a good look for you. That's a good look for Sammy, because Sammy hasn't put out music in a long he's time. Actually, he's actually back popping heavy, but, like, oh. on the South. Okay. Like, more so on the female side. He's, okay. He's, Oh, the good. ladies love Sammy, oh, yeah. huh? He's they love. Yeah. <laughs> he trying to bring the chocolate back. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs to. It's the light skinned niggas is taking over, clearly. So that's what's up. So describe your style of music to our listeners and viewers. Um, I'm more like commercial with it, but I'm still like, you know, I come from the streets with it. Mm. You know what I mean? I just, I'm like more fab type of style. I love mm. stuff for the mm. females. You know what I mean? And I can still talk to you with the street shit. Okay. Like that. Mm-hmm. How long you been doing the music thing for? Since I was 12. Oh, I, wow. mean, I was signed with Slip and Slide. Uh, and you were signed, signed with Ted with, Lucas? Get you know, out of here. I was, um, wow. Too after that, I went to Shaquille O'Neal, uh, Deja 34 Records, and then it's my new move right here. I just been working with Mace. Shout out to Mace. So you're independent right now? Yeah, okay. Okay. I just been um, publishing deals. Mm-hmm. Okay, just writing for a lot of people in the game now. It's like <sighs> time to put your work out. So, who were some of the people you wrote for in the gig? Oh, we know, or is it that whole ghostwriter? She's trying to get me. Yeah, is it that whole ghostwriter <laughs> thing? Well, I signed papers and I can't say anything. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's how it is. That's how it really I, is. Damn, that shit is real. We yeah, had a ghostwriter in here not too long ago. He was like, I can't say. Yup. 
call. Yeah, that's all right. Your business. All right. That's all right. I business. tried, everyone. I tried. So, <laughs> being in those situations, right? What you what? From those situations, what do you think? Why you didn't reach a certain point in your career when you were signed to like slip and slide and shit? Um, I always had the wrong people around me, like business wise. Okay. Like, people, you're giving me the wrong things, the wrong A and R's, and all this, and I. And on, on my side, I messed up because I didn't know the business like that. Right. I was just younger, and I'm just running whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's money here? What's money here? Let's go get it. So I fumbled a lot. Okay. And so that's what I had to do, and that's why it took me so long. Now I'm playing the business side. I can sit okay. with my lawyer now for an hour each week just so I can figure out. What's going on? Like, yeah. That's that retainer you know money right yeah. there, okay? Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's like, good. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so you learn from that. How is your team structured now? Um, well, we really, I, I kind of stopped recording for a minute and I started getting to the, the other aspects of like, you know, um, I want to do commercials now. Okay. I want to do movies. That's what my team's on. We ain't even tripping. No. We got music for days. Sports and all that. I need video games. Yeah. All of that. That's, That's, what, what, checks, That's what we doing. We yeah, going yeah. for the biggest bags. Okay. Uh-huh. All right, so take it back for a day. Let us know what it was like for you as a child. Like, what was the first album you remember purchasing? Um. Oh, uh, Harlem World. Oh, okay. Wow. Harlem, Harlem World. World. That's Mason Betha. I was my okay. favorite artist at the time. It's crazy because now you I were my friends, well. right? Like that's so ironic. That's I like my you. big brother right there, crazy mentor, and that that's probably the craziest. Do he be preaching to you? Does, <laughs> Does he talk about no. the God thing? Like when nah, he, went... he only like talking about that. Okay. How? Is he still religious? Yeah. yeah. Are you religious? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. No, I mean. You... No, nah, he, he he's he like yo, his music. He's real business with his shit. Okay. Like he like yo. Is that bro, where you get that from? Leave that alone. You get that from him. Yeah. He, he put me on a whole lot. So how I'm old sure. are you? I'm thirty. You're thirty years old. 30 Looking years like he's nineteen, y'all. Hey. He up okay, your ladies. <laughs> He up your oh, What you trying to say? I'm a cougar or some shit? Like, <laughs> 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 you gonna stop coming for me, all right? I'm gonna tell you. All right, so um, we want to hear this record. This record, let's get into a millionaire. Like, tell us how it was for you creating that song. Um, everybody want to be a millionaire. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, my uh-huh. bad. Facts. Everybody want to be a millionaire, so I know it could relate to a lot of people. And it's just like I'm telling you my story of getting there, how hard I work to even make. Whatever I'm doing, where I'm at, and where I'm going. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's that's where I came up with it. Okay. Facts. I'm excited to hear about it. It's like I a club banger, again. but it's like it's still real. I try to give you me. Wow. I ain't saying I'm rich, but it's like, yo. But I ain't broke. It's like, no. <laughs> Facts. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get into it right now. It's Zay Forte, millionaire, millionaire. on the Drop Night Show with Ice Yeah. Radio. Yo, it's the Drop Night Show. I get them all the time. <laughs> Yo, Normally that was Zay like. Forte, Millionaire. <laughs> Yo, that's a hot record. Yeah. That's a that's hot record. That's the club banger. I feel yeah. that. Thank you. Thank you. Strip club, too. I bet you play that in the clubs. Sure. The girls going to be like, hey, I'm a millionaire. Wow. What they, right, so, are they shaking? I went back to my stripper days, y'all. Y'all see that real quick? <laughs> Lord. Lord. Save me. He's like, no. <laughs> Gotta excuse me sometimes. Um, so yeah, we're still in the interview with Zay Forte, repping Trenton. What was that like growing up in Trenton? You know, Ooh. traveling the world everywhere. And I mean, I'm, I've been around. I'm 30 years Trenton old. Now, is so tough. Like, Trenton is yeah, tough. Trenton is tough. Back in the day, it was fun. And my, okay. Me coming up, it was fun. I mean, of course, it still was, yeah. it was ruthless, but it was fun. Like you know, being young, chilling with your, your family, all everybody live on the same fucking street. Right. <laughs> you feel me? So it's like right, right, right. It was dope back then. We did our dirt or whatever, but it was fun. Now it's like yeah, you can't go to certain places. Mm-hmm. You can't just kick it. Really? Your own family might even hit you with some shit. Like all right. Wow. It's, it's I feel you on that one. Hold on. So do you think Trenton supports you as an artist? Um. Since I came back, they I feel like everybody's on the type of time where it's Zay been gone. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like they used to who's there with them the most. So when you come back, it's like you still got to bring your whole wave back with it. It's like, okay, oh, he do rock with us still. Okay. And it's like, nah, I just had to go get it and bring it back. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. You know what mm-hmm, I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was the one that always wanted to get out. Mm-hmm. It's cool being here, but mom need a big house. 
God bless my dad. He was the one backing me the whole time with everything. Wow. Like, yo, you should do this. Get out. Make wow, moves like that. Amazing. He showed me the game. So it was like, that's why I moved. Like, that's the way dope. I did. That's dope. Mm -hmm. Because being in this industry, do you think it's important for your city to back you? I think it's very important. I think it's very, very important. <laughs> <sighs> Little Uzi went to Atlanta and blew up and then came back. Now you That's can't another get story I can talk about that, but I ain't going to okay. do it you, see, when it comes to that. You know some real life information. I feel like we we can't, talk about, he, he uh, can't be politically correct. <laughs> Lil Dicky. He from Philly. Knew from Is who knew that? Is he? I was, I was, He's I from Mount Airy. Yeah. <laughs> who knew? Hey, I had now, no idea. But he feels like personally, you your your city should rep you, and that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like and that's what they actually look for. They want to see where you you know everybody in the industry. They looking for the city. You got your city on your back. That's how they coming. That's a wrong that misconception. Makes <laughs> I think, I think that this makes is sense. numbers. That's crazy. This but whole game is numbers. Yeah. No, but you know, so it's also more so like they want to look up and be like, oh, if that guy did it from my town, I could do it too. Type of situation. You know what I mean? It's all about the inspiring people. It should be more inspiring people, but people turn it into hate, and then they want to hate on you, and then they want to, you know what I mean, try to take your place or take you out of your place. So people, you're right. It is a weird misconception. It's a wrong. It's a yeah. messed up, misconstrued misconception so what is it all right you've traveled everywhere you were where you were in atlanta for a while yeah. right I, I live in atlanta still are you still out what there what part okay? of atlanta you live in i live in uh like uh kennesaw it's Ken like 15 minutes yeah. from the actual city yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. atlanta so why you amazing. live what made you move to atlanta um that's when i got signed with Shaq. oh okay yeah it was like a, did you take the money off the top did you get the what is it what do they call it the um oh, <laughs> the, right off the, top. the advance he was yeah, like give right me off that, top give me that. <laughs> yo and yep. so you you blew it or did you use it wisely i spent fifty thousand the like the first day but wow. not like buying nothing it was you know Investing. My promo and all that. Okay. Oh, promo. Okay. Okay. I didn't know that. But they took it out how, how to budget. do it. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know how that went. That's what I'm saying. I had to learn the business. So wow. how will they go this time around? Oh, I'm going to show you. <laughs> 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 I'm going to show you. I exactly know what to do now. <laughs> so what's some of the producers you work with on this project? Um, Who's on there? I got my uh, young Tago did a lot on there. He's... He's pretty dope in the A. Okay. Shout out to him. Um, yeah, I think I did a whole lot with him. Okay. Pretty much the whole, like, yeah, take. Okay. Mm -hmm. You live in the A. Yeah. So it takes a bag to break in the A. Yeah. Does it really? You know, All the way. Listen. That's the only thing they represent out there. Listen. It's money? Yeah. Yeah. It's the hottest market. Mm -hmm. You don't think a DJ want his money to break you? Well, I you well someone just bag. sat here and said we had a DJ on here the other day. Shout out to Relly from New York. Rel. He said that real DJs should not be taking no pay or you should just be doing it for the love. And if the music, the song's hot, play that shit. You know oh, what I yeah, mean? Nine to they want right. money. They <laughs> want that bag. Club and they like yo. I usually do two fifty. Two fifty. Empty in here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Two fifty. Wow. Right. <laughs> It's real. I mean, every month, they, well, they some real life entrepreneurs out there, and I can't be mad at you. That's what's up. So, what's that feeling like for you performing? Like having you on the stage. What is it? What do you look for also in a live performance? So that's a twofold question. Um, with me, I can't lie. I still get butterflies performing. Really? I've been doing this for years. Really? But once I get up there, I know it's showtime. Okay. Right. So my whole it's like Clark Kent going in the booth. <laughs> When Just I get on stage, on. I come out to Superman. Okay. It's a whole, I don't see none of that wow. anymore. So it's like, I don't even know. You looking back at performances, it's like, I don't even remember doing that. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I just get in my zone. I just ask tough. people afterwards. Like, that's yeah, tough. I was dope. They're like, yeah, it was dope. I'm like, oh, all right, boom. Because I didn't see the crowd or none of that. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> it's like a real zone out. So what do you look for when you see a, perform a live performance? And um, Character. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like somebody that's like, oh, you can entertain the crowd. Like, even if the song is wack, it's like, I like the energy. Right, okay. It's dope. Like, he, he could be something. Mm -hmm. That's how. I, that's what I look for, energy. That's, that's positive. That's yeah. definitely important. I think you have to have some energy and chariz charisma and crowd control and all that stuff. Because some people just get right. out there and, and they be like. Yeah, some people do it <laughs> different ways as well. Because I'm like more of a laid back, smooth, 
And then some days I'm like, turn up. I might stand on the speaker. Have you stage day, do, drove? Nah, that ain't nah, my thing. That's not, that's not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> not now. You Why you know. afraid they're not going to catch you? <laughs> yeah, I ain't that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm on I world like star. The world. <laughs> See what happens at world they star. Moved with. Yo, well, speaking of the A, we're about to get into this song right now by Future. It's called Move, Move That Dough. Do. Yo, Sean, you be moving that dough. That body dough. It's like, no, I'm playing. <laughs> Let's get into it right now on the Trump Night Show. We, we oh, got Zay Forte. It Let's is go. on. It is <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. It's the Drop Night Show. I'm your girl, K Wonder, with my host, Sean Beasley. Yeah. And that was Future. Y'all, y'all niggas move that dough. All right. So we're still in this very interesting and exclusive interview with uh, Za Forte. Stop saying Za. What is it? Z? What is that? Z? Zay. Zay. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. I told you I was going to mess it up like a little three more dyslexic, times. <laughs> so forgive her. She's a little dyslexic. Oh, yeah. Dys- dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> You mean dyslexic? Everybody with the yeah. <laughs> he trying to put the he trying to Everybody. put the shade on me, and he tells it like dyslexic to himself. Never come, never, never, never. Say so, no. would you resign with a major? Um, if the check is right. What that check gotta look like? Four hundred fifty. No, that gotta be a M's. million. That gotta be M. Okay. Mind you, he writes. He records, can produce. He does it all. He's not no like, oh, put me uh, behind the mic and give me a whole team of writers. No, I'm coming with these ideas and this energy, you know? Uh-huh. That's real. It's a mill off the, like, the bare lease. You know what I mean? A so what's a vibe in the studio with you? Yeah, I'm interested Females, to know that. Females, drinks, like. smokes, um, what? Just me. I you mean, don't be having no girls and I, no energy drinks. Energy and me. He said Hennessy and me. Hennessy and me. And me. <laughs> Hennessy and me. I'll make it happen. I, that's when my best songs come out with just me. With well, Hennessy. Yep. Everybody okay. else be a, really a distraction. Okay. Honestly. I mean, I, I love females in the studio. That's dope. But it's like, nah. Mm-hmm. He's focused. I'm my vibe. I need to get it done. I'm going to get them after. So that's me. So what's the process for you in creating a song? Do you look more to the beat first, or do you come up with the, the Um, song I usually first? have an idea. I put everything down on like a voicemail. I might just be riding in the car mm-hmm. and and just start. I might have heard somebody say something that a was like, "That's kind of dope, yo." If I put that in the song, that's be tough. Ew. And I put it on my voice memo, and then I hear a beat, and it's like, "That might go with that." Let me put. And then I oh, put wow. a song. Oh wow! Okay. Like that. yep. that's, that's dope. dope. That is dope. Mm-hmm. So you remember that time where you was like, damn, I don't want to do it no more? Have there ever been a time That's like that? That's why I said, <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody got that feeling, I believe, in the game where it's like, oh, are you going to make it by now and this and that? Mm-hmm. Um, if you give up, you probably never know. The day you give up, you could have got that bag the next day. Mm-hmm. You don't know. So, so I love it that you? much that I'm cool with it. You're right. I'm going to make it happen regardless. That's how I know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, God would have took it away from me a long time ago. So I believe this is supposed to be for me. I mm. hear that. Mm. And that's what keeps you going. That's yep. what drives you. Yeah, I smile. Even when I feel like ah, it's not going right here. It's taking too long right here. I'm going to smile because I know it's got to happen. Mm. I don't feel no type of way. So uh, this is a question I tend to ask a lot of artists who are based out of Jersey and Philly area. How do you feel about the the culture of music and the industry of Philly? Our like Jersey. having lived in Atlanta and you know maybe other places, how do you feel about the Philly aspect of it? The Jersey um, aspect. Philly Jersey aspect. Um, it's coming back up. Okay. To yeah. me, I actually like it the okay. way like even with New York, all this like I feel like we bringing this back because everybody always put everything on the South. Mm-hmm. Like we, I mean, because it's jumping, it's lit. The South does happen me? for a while. So it's good to see the Dave East and all that coming mm-hmm. back, and that's dope to me. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's we making a way, and I I want to be right a part of it. Like you know <laughs> what I'm saying? But it's like you you... making a way on the South production. Mm-hmm. Why why a Philly artist or a Jersey artist, New York artist, get on? 
a hip hop track from a producer up from north? a producer up here and say let me create a banger on that why do you think it's so hard for an artist to hop on those kind of tracks nowadays like from the south is that even here? a problem yeah. I, um i don't think it's hard i feel like you know it's, it's it's all preferences honestly bro i don't think it's like it's hard to hop on anything i think it's dope when you see them actually do it it's weird when i see future do it <laughs> to a I ain't gonna lie. Up north beat or do like yeah, a East Coast I can't. Beat? I don't want to hear no more Future and Jay Z records. <laughs> Shout out, DJ I love Khaled, Future. But I just that? don't want to do those though. Khaled, no more. <laughs> Yo, um, so <laughs> do you do beefs? Does, does oh, oh, I win all those. <laughs> I wouldn't even do it with me when it come to uh, beefs like really? rapping wise. Nah, I wouldn't even do it with me. I'm, I, I'm on a different type of time. Wow, okay. I'm clever. I love it, though. I love it. <laughs> if it come to me, I want it. Jesus, want you sound straight. like some old MacGyver shit about to pop off. Like. <laughs> I love it. Come with it. Oh, oh goodness. So, all right. That's what duly noted. So, shout out to um, another Trenton artist we had up here, Killagram. Killagram, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, how you link up with Killagram? We from Trenton. <laughs> oh, just from Definitely. Trenton. Yeah, all I watched him. I watched him as a young boy. He'd be downtown. Passing out the season, like oh yeah, fish. He's like the first one really that that made it on TV and all that. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So it was like that was dope. That was somebody that I really watched. He's and a real it was like motivated, motivation. Yeah. So. Camp Low was real from Trenton. Who? Camp Low. Who? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Smack the shit. Out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But I mean, they they were on TV and got it popping and stuff. Oh. Like you didn't. Oh, <laughs> right. I can't with y'all. You know what? <laughs> right. So, what what song is stuck in your head right now that you just fuck? Is that funny? Oh, so that was your little get back. Whatever. No, that's not the best of it yet. Okay, I know something coming, Lord. Oh God. So what song is stuck in your head right now, like oh, music wise? What song is you just checking keep for? Singing all day. I can't remember what I was saying. Uh, Isn't it so funny when I mention it now? You like it goes blank. Yeah, cause cause I was, it probably would have been playing <laughs> already. But, um, I tell you, mine is that Cardi B. Like I, I'm just playing the whole. I like it like that in my head, like all day. <laughs> uh, that's tough. Yeah. Um, I really like don't listen to everybody's stuff like that. Really. Yeah, it's like somebody gonna hit me and say like, "Yo, you check this joint out." I'd be like, "I'll check it out. Let me okay. see what, what's up with it." But I don't really just go looking for everybody joint unless I know it's probably a, a solid project. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, "All right, cool. I'm gonna go run through it." So I ain't ready too much. But some oh, probably the Kiki John. Oh, the come, Drake. Because they, they oh, you definitely they ain't bashing you. Oh, Nikki don't want to date you there. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> nigga that talking about Kiki or this Kiki. She don't want you. <laughs> No, not even that. I'm I'm bugging. I'm talking about uh, the Drake John uh, in my feelings. In my feelings. When I say that, yeah, because you know what I'm saying the whole social media thing. Oh, with the dancing so and all. So it just comes up, and I keep seeing everybody doing it on. Do IG you feel like that. that's important? Like nowadays, you have to have a song with a dance because now you have Sierra's Give It Up Challenge or Take It Up Challenge, whatever. Level then you got, up. Now you, you, you got the mood Level challenge. Up. <laughs> the mood so challenge has taken off. No, how, nobody. How it <laughs> no one's doing the mood challenge. What's that? China right. just did the mood challenge. No. Oh, Lord. So it's this girl. <laughs> so it's this girl called Doja Cat. What? Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Cat. She, she has a song called Moo. Called Moo. Like a cow? Moo. Moo. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> She said the cat go yeah. She said I'm not a cat, but I'm a cow. Go moo. Oh, she didn't, bro. moo. The song <laughs> ill. I'm sorry. I don't care what nobody Ill? say. You gotta listen to it. Oh, I love it. I absolutely hey, yo, we love checking it. for that joy, yo. You, you heard it? it? It's tough. Oh, you the hater. <laughs> right. You is a hater. <laughs> right. Did you see the video though too? She had cow. He said no. Not that not the fiddle. <laughs> She a whole a onesie cow onesie. onesie. Yo, I'm, all, I'm done. I'm done. Let me go. Anyway, cow. people are doing it. Nobody's but do doing it. Do you feel it. like that's important now as an artist? Like, do well, you again, have to have this these gimmick. challenges? Do you have to have a gimmick? Hey, a lot of times it works, too. It's the crazy part. I wouldn't say you have to have it, but this shit works. So you're you gonna... might have to get fucking pink hair or something. I ain't doing that. To me, it's like selling your soul. 
That's oh. how I feel when it comes to that. Like, nigga, I ain't about to so take we got hand, Right, so we got the release the penis pictures. You got the girls yeah. showing the, yeah, pussy. You got. He was scared to say pussy. <laughs> you had the, the guys wearing pink hair and pink pants. And, and dreads and dreads. rainbow yeah. hair. Yeah. You think that's all gimmicky or that's just art, artistic views or are just called artistic? called selling your soul. <laughs> he said it's called selling your soul and I ain't doing it. Well, I gotta put a dress on and sell records. That ain't gonna work for no. me. Shout out to them niggas that do that type of shit. That works for you. Do what works for you. This is what works for me. I'm gonna stick to the script. I'm gonna just do it a different way. Okay. You feel me? So, I so like your artist, like what is, who's your top five? Mm, that's heavy. Uh, Hove, Fab, uh, Mace, Jada, mm. uh, Eminem. Eminem. That's a, that's that's a, a good, good one. Five. That's a good one. All right. So you pick J over Nas, but Nas I get it. Nas is dope, but. It just that's me. his five. I know. I mean, my, Nas my, is dope. That's I fuck with Nas heavy. It's just my style of music. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, like I like it. I can recite all this shit no, like I'm that. Not, but it's just I'm like not, in my top five. I'm gonna go play this in my car right now. I'm gonna play them. She's a Nas. But Jay, dick, Jay's she's just a, a whole dick writer. So that's why she's saying. <laughs> yeah. Yo. I just like if you like. I even go Nas that. is dope. I was just <laughs> rocking with him at Nori party the other day. No. Shit, the five E John. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Party. Nas is that niggas. Indeed, indeed. So, since you are uh, a songwriter, name five top songwriters you like. Now, this um, is a good one. I like people that's uh that you probably wouldn't know about. I'm like the ones that's kind of behind the scenes that y'all never heard of, like the ones that write well, with Trey songs and all that. I'm a manager, so I manage songwriters uh-huh. and producers, so uh-huh. I know. You know Sick Pen? I know Sick Pen. That's he's okay. fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um... That's a good name for a ghostwriter. <laughs> Sick pen. <laughs> uh, Eric Billinger's fire. Mm-hmm. Um, Sean Garrett is fire. Um, that's a bunch, bro. He can go on and that's on. That's three. He can go on and on. No, I, I need two you... more. Yeah, right. writer. <laughs> I need two more. I can't with you. Uh, Jerome Street is fire. You know Jerome Street? Okay. Jerome Street is super fire. Okay. Um. Who else is a dope one that I rock with? Don't worry about it. We don't, no, we'll be here all day. We'll come back to it. No, we'll be here all day. We're going to give him time to think about it because we're going to get into this next song right now. <laughs> it's by... Um, Save by the Bell. <laughs> Steph Mondon. Yo, shout out to her. She's on. Like, hey, no, no. She repping she rep no. London. Oh, no. okay. So, that. Oh, yeah. my apologies. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what we... Oh, that's a nice one. I like her. Who? Queen Nada. Is it Nada? Nadja. Nadja, Nadja right. See, you I told right? you. I just are messed right? everybody's name up. <laughs> You're horrible. It's so many people to think of right now. Um, but no, you know, because literally I did just hear about this girl maybe like five days ago. Really? And then I heard it. I was like, oh, she ill as hell. But then I heard all this stuff that she's got, you know, she, it's her and her boyfriend. Yeah, oh, they killing she's it. she's pregnant now. Mm. And I'm just like, wow, there's so much. So, up. yeah, let's get into that while he thinks about his last songwriter. songwriter. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Drop nice show. We're nice radio. Let's go. Yo, it's the Drop Night Show, and we are back. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't help it. <laughs> We're back with Zay Forte. Yo, we having a good conversation with him. He's an upcoming artist, but a dope. Upcoming, ass. he's been here. Like he's been here, yeah, and yeah, now he's yeah. coming to the forefront yeah. to show y'all motherfuckers what's yeah. up. All right, that's what that is, right? I'm so still waiting for up, him right? to tell <laughs> us at least one artist you wrote for. Dad, you. Hey, oh, hey, he's, dad, not gonna gonna <laughs> he's, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. I I'm can't. convinced. That's He's a, not trying to get sued. Yeah, he would I get sued. Do he don't want to do that. Uh, it's not. It's some, I got some We're going to have to just go okay. to Google and be like, Google. All right, so this is how I can find out. Who you signed to? Publishing Ross. Oh, uh, here you go. <laughs> you know it. You know it. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I can find out. <laughs> We're going to put you, you on know. some investigation. Yeah, go right. look. But do you prefer if someone sent you a track, if if you're assigned to write for someone, right? Uh-huh. Do you prefer being in the studio with the artist or someone sending you the track? Uh, it depends. 
It just depends on how I'm feeling at the moment, bro. It's just like, like I said, I like to be there by myself. So if okay. the artist's there and we just vibe and they ain't got their camp with them and all that, then, yeah, we could do that. I'll go knock it out. I'll delay a reference down. Boom, you know, so, yeah. Now, how do you so do you your would, splits? So you doing this writing thing. What was, did you do a lot of writing as a young, a youngin? Like, has that, has that always been? Nah, I kind of fell to really? me. It was like, oh, <laughs> yo, you need to throw that record to so-and-so. I'm like, word, that, well, I could do that? And then if that was like younger, mm-hmm. and then I was like, okay, like I said, I didn't know the business, so right, like, right. boom, I'm just throwing shit out there, like letting, fuck it, I'll get it on the back end. Right, Something right. Something like that. So it was wow. like, you know what I mean, it really just fell on my lap like that's that. That's very interesting. It's a, it's a blessing. God just drops the gifts, you know what I mean? He just keeps dropping the gifts. So we were talking during the break that you are big on old school music, and I absolutely commend <sighs> you for that because I feel like as an artist, if you don't know your past, where can you go? Like, what is your present and future if you don't know your past? You know what I mean? I feel like everybody has taken from the past. Just like this decade of music, the future is going to take from it, you know? Mm-hmm. Who are some of the artists that you, like, jam out to in your car or what have you? Like old school, old that is. School, yeah. Like, any genre? Yeah, any, any genre. genre. We were singing, you know, rap. Like I said, I was on some R&B shit when we were talking about this. I'm, I'm on some real, like, Joe to see. Okay. Fucking um, True Hill, mm-hmm. um, like old Tank. Not the new Tank. Yeah, he dope. <laughs> you said the now old I'm just tank. saying we talking about like yeah you know back saying, in the, the day we're talking about back in the day. I'm off there. It's a whole. So what about do, what about like um so we have Aretha Franklin just passed away and yeah. uh, Stevie Stevie Wonder's still here. Thank you God. You I know love like Stevie Wonder. yeah it's okay. I'm still figuring out how he get the baddest chicks and he can't sing. He can't even sing. Ray <laughs> Charles did the same thing. <laughs> It's crazy. It's called <laughs> shmoney. It's like, you know. Um. Word, <laughs> so yeah. what is coming? All right, we, we have the project um, that you have coming out. When is it Found coming my out? Gift. When uh, is that October coming out? October 12th. October 12th. All yeah, right. I need so, you at the party, too. I'm so, where, so where's the party going to be at? Right now, we got like three different places. So okay. you, you see, I'm going to make sure everybody get it. Definitely. Okay. You guys and definitely all that. So we're just going to kill like a whole weekend. Okay. And we're going to do it crazy. That's going to be ill. Rockstar Lifestyle might not make it. Mm-hmm. It's like, no. <laughs> She's going to come with her leotard on. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to leave that alone. And that's doing going to look so small. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate this guy. Yeah, so, yo, uh, we thank you so much. Where is there any like performances you have coming up? Um, in Atlanta, it's on Saturday. Like, I don't even know the club. Okay. I just like, yo, y'all got the bread. We there. Yes, <laughs> yes. All right. But check I, his uh, social media. Yeah, check it out. The flyers up on my social media. Uh, Zay uh, underscore Forte. Uh, Z E underscore F O R T E. And y'all can check me out. I'll find everything there. Uh, new video in my um, my bio right now. Uh, millionaire. Go check that out. It's crazy. So I've seen that video. What's your DM like? I yeah, know your DM be crazy. That's a good video. Thank you. I appreciate it, bro. DM? Um, Do your DM be crazy? You be having, like, all yeah, types of... Yeah, but I don't even pay... Like I said, girl. I just be so focused. I don't even pay attention Do to it like that. Do you run your own social media, or do you let someone else Somebody do Somebody else really okay. run it. He's one of those. Oh, he He's on big that. time. Okay, he on. <laughs> he nah, like, I, I really even... try to stick to it. Like I said, I get that later on, man. I don't be doing all that talking. That's, that's extra right now. That's what's up. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, y'all definitely got to stay tuned and, and see what's going on. Um, we're going to get this off real quick. Sean has a segment of the show called Get It Off Your Chest. And I know today actually has been like a really interesting day for me. I can tell. Can you tell? Yeah, you pronounce mispronouncing everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, it's just one of those days, but God is Sounds good. special. I just want to say that I'm losing faith. I got to get it off my chest. I'm losing faith in the the I'm losing faith in mankind. Mm. I feel like what? we got to get something right here. The energy of the world is 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 going crazy and people are yeah, doing I, some I really wild things. Yeah. Wild wild wild. I talked about earlier the guy, there's a white gentleman from Arizona. His name is Jimmy L Taylor and he basically was in Uganda at a hotel in a motherland talking to the staff crazy calling them niggas talking about you need you know bless you need to praise me the white jesus he was hitting on them 
and this it went viral so after it went viral people actually for some route the the, the internet is definitely undefeated they found out where he, what his name was how where he was from and he was arrested uh, as you should yeah so I mean, <laughs> as you should <laughs> But I just feel like, wow, like this is getting crazy. There's a lot of crazy things going on. And I just I think need to get off been, my chest. Stuff that like this has been going on. It's just that we see it, it more it's, now. I'm about to say it's been covered up. Yeah. They, they, they try to bring out something else to to get you away from what's going on for real. For, for real. Now it's really coming to the light. And it's like, oh, this shit been going on, like you said. So, yeah, I mean, like, this is what America's based off of, right? But we feel like we're, we've moved so far in the in the country that it's just reverting back to exactly what it, what this whole country's based off of. Mm. And I personally feel like everybody needs to know how to shoot a gun. Everybody needs to be prayed oh, up. Shit. Everybody needs to know how to cook. You need to know how to fend for yourself. And they like, told you in the book of Revelations how this is going go real talk everything that's going on right now is exactly what it says in the book of revelations mm-hmm. it's right after no real it's crazy. talk real talk that's how i know that shit is real <laughs> niggas ain't just make that shit up that's real right because it is it's wars, playing out in front of our eyes and all like, it's that gonna shit just be years of this you know what i mean right. false prophets you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. you don't know like it's just crazy so that's yeah. So my thing is, my get it off the chest is definitely stay prayed up, stay sucker free, and you know what I mean, get a gun. Um, what's yours? <laughs> I don't have to get it off. My okay, chest that's today. fine. I was yeah. the only one today. Yeah, clearly. Now, I like that. What you said though, I thank probably would have went that way. Yeah, uh, thank you. That that yeah. was that was some real real stuff right there. Oh, you know what? I got one. Uh oh. MTV. What about them? MTV. Do you like that they're bringing all their shows back or MTV? <laughs> so, so you had Ariana Grande. They had some singers in that building. You pick the oldest legend. Oh, Madonna. Oh, so to talk, talk about, about a legend? You talk about the BMAs. Okay. How dare you? She didn't talk about the legend. She talked about, about herself. herself. But for then she, 14 minutes and 39 seconds. <laughs> she talked about her. She said Aretha Im, if, uh, impacted her life. Uh-huh. But then she explained. They said they wanted me to just say something. It wasn't an actual, you know, tribute. She was just saying no, they no. asked me to say the, something. The reason why I'm, I wanted to get off my chest. But, yeah. If you don't have an idea of how to do it. Don't l- say it. Leave it alone. Mm-hmm. Just at the end of the show, put a picture of the year she was born, the year she passed away. <laughs> That's it. I, th- I feel, I don't know. I guess you feel the Caucasians have a certain way of doing tributes in the Blackstone. I mean, <laughs> I get what you're saying. Listen, no, no, I'm playing. Then it's I'm funny, playing. now you got the running jokes. Oh, the BT Wars going to get it right. <laughs> like, the why EBT the B- Awards? You mean the EBT? Stop playing. Oh shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! Everyone whoa. knows BT, EBT. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's why no. I re- thank no. God for revolt and like you know Puffy coming through and saving it because they totally went. They yeah when they, when they sold BET it wasn't oh, BET Viacom? no more. Yeah, when yeah, they yeah, sold yeah. it, it became EBT. But all right, <laughs> y'all. So it's been a really dope show. We appreciate you again appreciate for you. coming. So through. tell uh, tell our listeners and viewers where can they find you at, how to get in touch with you, all that good stuff. Your social uh, media. Man, go check me at um, zay dash forte dot com. You can find everything there, even my social media and all that. But if you want to go to my IG, like I said before, it's a zay underscore forte. That's z e underscore f o r t e. Twitter. Underscore Zay Forte. There we go. There you go. Make sure y'all go get that new single, Millionaire, and check for the album check coming out. out. right now. It's about to be crazy. October 12th. Yeah. Found my gift. Let's get it. <laughs> why October 12th? Um, <laughs> why that time? Is, it just seemed like it was perfect time. It was supposed to come earlier, but it just seemed like the buildup. I needed birthday? more I needed to do. Hmm? When's your birthday? March. Oh, so you're Pisces? Aries. Oh, Aries. That's why you're so laid back. Okay, let me Is find that? out. I don't believe none of that shit. No. I don't believe it either. Should, I don't believe should. it either. That's some Chinese fortune cookie shit. <laughs> he said some Chinese fortune I know fortune motherfuckers that's <laughs> born the same day as me. It's weird as hell. I'm like, I don't act like that. You, I mean, you have nothing to say. It all nothing. boils down to the time you were born and all of that stuff. Like, <laughs> A bullshit. <laughs> What's your time? I'm a tourist. Hey, okay, 
show love. It's a tourist uh, way. Hey, hey, gang, gang. Y'all play that shit if y'all want to. <laughs> what? Yes. Y'all probably all different. Right. <laughs> probably. I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna wrap up the show right now. Again, it's the drop night show. We do this every Thursday. Yeah, you know what I mean, we get it popping eight p.m. to nine thirty. Uh, make sure y'all follow us on our social media. Follow us because we definitely got something major. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Major. Hopefully, we can get you involved with that. Yeah, we'll talk up? about major. it. Major. We'll talk about it. Okay. So yeah, it's the drop night show at the drop night <laughs> show. Make sure you follow us on IG and Facebook. Major. And uh, we we appreciate it. Major. Shout out DJ Khaled. (laughs) 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 You're getting on my nerves. So we're going to do it, all right? So we'll see y'all next Thursday. Um, Oh, actually, we're off. So we'll be back the following week. You know what I mean? But we'll see you soon. And it's the Drop Night Show. What eyes is blazing. (laughs) 